Okay, guys, uh, we are now in the dungeon, as I so uh, refer to it. For right now, we are uh, we are trying to get her organized, straightened up, cleaned up, and figure out where to put everything. Um, what uh, what uh, is going to go over here? That's where the lathe is going to go. Um, and I put the lathe in there. Um, as soon as I can figure out how to get it downstairs, this is all a mess of of everything and making templates and forms and uh, that's a uh, cowling mold for a uh, Corvair uh, a Corvair uh, conversion for a 601 650. You can make a uh, two piece cowling. Um, this is just a table of stuff, but anyway, right here is. Uh, is the uh, template that uh, that I use, and my forms are they're over there. Um, so what we're going to do is trace these out. Um, first thing, um, trace them out, and then uh, and then once they're traced out, um, you can uh, uh, cut them. And then you need three per. You need three of these uh, templates per. So. Um, let me turn the lights on here. And uh, so what I do is I take a uh, take a marker. Um, I got some of these little cheap little like Crayola, some kind of super tip jump cheap crayons uh, or markers, and then. Uh, and then just trace these out um, and what you want to do um, so anyway this is uh, this is the fiberglass cloth and this is the uh, the template and then just take the take the the pin trace around the uh, the template which I've already done obviously um, when the camera went off um, then I just make a mark here 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 and then what I'll do is I'll cut, I'll cut notches in here because it makes a curve. So the notches help it relax. And then I got to make some pieces to, uh, um, make some pieces to go in those where they open up little V pieces. Um, so anyway, you take that and then, uh, you can, you can lay them out like this right here. Um, or. Um, I thought, well, you know, I'll try to save and flip it over and put it, put it, uh, like this, you know, do it this way and, you know, go a little bit further this way and maybe that'll give me, uh, give me more of them. Um, then my next one that drops into there, um, and it, I found it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you do them. They're going to end up giving you the same amount of, uh, of pieces, but, uh, let's do it this way just for kicks and shits and grits, giggles here and see what we end up with so i trace this one out and it don't have to be perfect because it's got a lot of overhang um so I just so there and put the mark there there and there okay and then you take the next one and flip it over this way and, and put it in there like that, like so, as best you can. And all right, so I'll trace these out. And this stuff's not real super expensive, so it's not like it's gonna it's gonna cost a fortune to have a little bit of waste on this stuff so but so mark mark and then I got plastic under here the reason I got plastic under here is so that I can pull everything over without really wrinkling up the cloth too much like that so that's good good use of the plastic and then 
take and flip it over again without that going over the edge so that won't be no good and just want to make sure that you don't have it making some weird angles that you don't want it to have by putting a wrinkle there okay so trace this one out and no matter which way I go I think it's five is the most I can get out of this which is bad because I'd love to get six because that means I get the whole set done out of one tracing but it just don't work that way so it is what it is have to... so if somebody's got a better way to try it to do it you can send me a, a message and let me know um, but this is the best way I found to do it see how it pops over there make sure it's straight <laughs> I don't think I have enough for one more but maybe one two three four five I think that's all you can get it's just uh, it's just the way it is so I'll trace these out and I think there there we're gonna try to get one more but i don't think i can do it i don't think it's possible so you grab the plastic you don't grab the fiberglass because if you grab the fiberglass you can stretch it and make it do all kind of weird stuff so i'll pull this over like that get my remote and let's we'll see if we can get one more if we can get one more that'll be my way i do it from now on so uh, looks like I might be able to actually do it. I don't know. Well, looky there. Well, looky there. I did get six, I think. Is that six? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six. Maybe, maybe I bought a wider roll this time. Well, that's amazing. There you go. History right here. Right here on the channel. History. By Gorky. All right, so that's what my grandma would say. By Gorky. Then do something wrong. She'd say Bishagugu. But more like Bishagugu. Say a bad word. You know how grandmas are. Uh, let's see. All right, now there's six. And that'll take care of it. Now I lay these out flat. <laughs> my template. I don't want them to wrinkle up because it takes them a while to straighten back out now this little thing is pretty neat I don't know if it's still sharp or not but we can try it and see but I don't want to cut my plastic underneath it okay there's no plastic there so we'll see if this cuts Eh, half and half. I don't want to do that. So it's make a bunch of wrinkles. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut them with scissors. So I'm gonna cut them with scissors. And uh, where are my other good scissors at? This isn't them. So anyway, I'm gonna cut them out, and not with these scissors. All right, so let's see if these scissors cut. Yeah, there we go. So, I don't know. This is gonna be a lot of editing, I'm pretty sure. Because, so anyway, uh, tell you about this kit. Um, I don't know when I'm actually gonna start selling them. Um, it'll be sometime in the next few few months. What I, or well, what I want to do first is get the uh, get the CNC router uh, built, um, and once I get that built, um, then I will uh, 
then I'll start to, uh, I might take orders once I get the CNC router built because it's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of work in trying to just make the parts. I got a lot of parts over there um, that I've been working on and I got a lot of templates already done. Um, so, um, it's just going to be a lot of work. But, I don't like working for other people. So, in order for me to be self-employed, to, to try to start my own business. Uh, and that's what I'm doing. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, um, we shall see. But if anybody's in Kentucky or Louisville and wants to help, that would be that would be excellent also. Uh, because I have really no no help. My buddy Brian, he uh, he has a, a 60 or 650, and uh, he's just getting ready to sell his house, I think, and move to Texas, so he won't be here. Um, and it's a lot of editing, a lot of work to make these videos, especially when you're doing something like this, because there's a lot of editing involved. It's not like you just like you know take a a, a flying video and you take off and go flying. Um, there's not much happens, and you just you fly, so you can see it. You can watch the whole thing. These are so much starting, stopping. Uh, and not a hell of a lot to talk about, really. I mean, um, I'm sitting here cutting pattern or cutting the uh, the fiberglass out, so there's not really a whole lot to talk about. So what I do is I take and fold them in half and just try to find somewhere to uh, to drape them over um, when I'm done, and then I'm gonna pull this over here and cut the next one out and it's just a boring job and i wish i had a a metal they they make a i guess when they make shoes and leather they have a big template they use and they cut the uh they lay it on top of the material and just like have a press and they press it and voila your parts are made um but i don't make enough of these to have that kind of a operation i wish i did i mean these are really nice they look great on the airplane and it's not a standard feature for the airplane it's a, something i've come up uh, that i've made um and it just makes them look really really well really good uh so but one thing i do have to do is cut these notches before i forget about them because it makes makes a it wraps around and when it does that, it has to have somewhere to go, some relief. Uh, or it bubbles up and makes it hard to lay down. So, I have a lot of waste with this stuff, but like I said, it's cheap. It's not that expensive to, to do this. And we'll go, we'll go. Uh, I, I want to not really edit as, that much. Um, I mean, there's always a fast forward button. Um, and I would rather people that don't know anything about this stuff be able to watch the whole process, even though the people that do know, it's boring. I know. Um, I mean, I'm bored. Cutting this stuff out is the most boring thing you can do. And my back hurts when I'm done. But it's all part of it. And... You have to do it. So some people won't want to watch it, but I'm here having to cut them out. It's not like I can fast forward. I wish I could. So it's it's it is a part of it that you have to do. And I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something that somebody can catch that uh, that if I've edited it out, it won't be there. Or maybe I'm not thinking about it. I don't know. So. I don't know. It, uh, 
it is what it is. So we'll lay this out. And I'll bring this over. So, and just, I guess because I'm right handed, sometimes it's easier to cut in certain ways. I don't know. But these cuts here don't have to be exact either. They're just, they're reliefs for the, uh, for the turn that it makes. And then I gotta make some little triangle pieces to go in. So, um, that's, and I just found it's easier if you trim most of it off. If you leave a lot extra, it just gets in the way. This area right here is pretty, it's pretty, uh, it wants to fight it when you lay the, 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 fiberglass in there it wants to it wants to wrinkle up so I haven't made a set of these in a long time so probably six months is probably the last set I made so I'm a little rusty myself um, Maybe after I make these videos and people see how good they look, um, maybe they'll start ordering them. There's a lot of work to make the molds for these. So, but they're done. And I can make as many as I want. And they're gonna come with the kit, when the kit that I sell. And I'm going to probably be one of the nicer LSA airplanes out there um, for the money uh, so we'll see I just hope that was there's a uh, there's a market after all this after all this goes away and who knows how long it's gonna be before it goes away luckily I work for a company where I'm a we're considered essential so I'm still working and that's sometimes I wish I wasn't because I could put more time into this but I also need the the money from this otherwise um, otherwise I couldn't do it anyway so there's enough to make one set right there um, and then or not one set one one of the uh, one of the fairings and so Come over here. Once I learn how to use the gold pour better, I'll probably turn it off. Um, you know, I'm, there's no reason really. If you've seen one cut complete, I know I said I don't want to edit a lot, but um, I don't want to sit here and not talk. But I also don't want to sit here and talk this much. Not a whole lot to talk about right now. Um, pretty soon there will be. Um, except I tell you what, when I when I took that magnetic brake and I flipped that breaker <laughs> and the other breaker popped, my main breaker popped, not just the 30 amp. I, I wasn't concerned because I was way far away from the tool, but when that 100 amp popped, that uh, didn't pop in the house um, from the main panel, but it popped the 100 amp breaker out there at that panel. Um, so uh, I realized uh, something Something wasn't right. And then when I came in and started doing the calculations again on the load calculations, um, realized that uh, I had calculated one of the numbers wrong. And uh, I said I had I was supposed to have 100 wraps. Well, I think I was supposed to have about 250 wraps. So I was double my, I was pulling about 180 to 100 amps when I turned that thing on. And the, uh, the rectifier didn't like it either. So, but then by the time I was all done and checked it out, the, uh, all the rectifier, I blew all my rectifiers because I kept playing with it. And, uh, cause you know, I couldn't have made a mistake. There's no way. And anyway, uh, so all the rectifiers blew that I had. And, uh, but I did get one video where it actually clamped. But then when I was really done, what happened was the, uh, uh, the wires ended up when I owned them out they were they had gotten too hot um, even that little short short amount of time and there was they were chafed somewhere 
touching each other so they were making a connection and so the whole thing and the bad part is i shouldn't have potted it i potted it in, into my frame um which potting is basically pouring epoxy over all the wires um i got a little rambunctious and i tested it and there was no it had continuity so everything was fine and uh um <laughs> then when i turned on the power i think i'll i think i fried everything and uh so then i end, now i end up having to uh take a chisel and uh, chisel out the uh the potting epoxy because um <laughs> because it's uh it's now the wires are no good so that's why i've got new wires but i'm doing this different last time i had four wires uh I think I used number 18 or something. I had four wires and...